Muslim are you? So the questioner says, I am a Muslim following Quran and Sunnah. What Sunnah? Everyone says Quran and Sunnah. The Khawarij, the Khariji says Quran and Sunnah, the Shia say Quran and Sunnah, the Qadri say Quran and Sunnah. What type of Quran and Sunnah are you? So he says, I follow Quran and Sunnah like the way the Salaf is Salihin understood. The Sheikh says, yes, very good. You have to follow Quran and Sunnah the way the Salaf is Salihin understood. So for this big sentence, in short form, the word is Salafi. And the debate was won. According to the Salafis. The debate was won. And on the internet you go, I respect Sheikh Nasir Zalbani. Many of my talks, when I want to check up a hadith, I see him. So I respect him, mashallah. I love him. I revere him. But no taqlid. No taqlid. Taqlid only belongs to Allah and his Rasul. Fine. See, this is logic. This is kiyas. See, logic, I say, prove to me from Quran and Sunnah, not logic. Alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah. Allah has blessed me with logic. Summa alhamdulillah. I am not a scholar. I consider myself a student of talib ilm, a student of knowledge. But Allah has blessed me that I've missed many scholars, whether it be of the great Indian scholars, whether from Nadwa, whether from Deoban, whether it be the Saudi scholars, Alhamdulillah, whether it be the scholars from other parts of the world, Allah has blessed me. I had the portion to interact with the great scholars of the present time. Alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah. Interacting with them, Allah has increased my knowledge, but yet I am a student. I am very small. I have limited knowledge. But the logic is there, Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed me with logic. So based on that, what type of Muslim are you? Are you a Khariji? Are you a Mutazali? Are you a Shia? Are you a Qadri? Are you a Sufi? Based on that, he won the debate. So he said, see, then Sheikh replies, no, but the questioner says, but didn't Allah say, call yourself Muslim? So the Sheikh replied that that time there was only one Islam. Now there are different groups. So therefore it is compulsory, fard, obligatory. You should identify yourself as a Salafi. Logic. Now comes my reply. And the debate was ended there. Sheikh Nasir Dalbani won the debate. See, for me, don't debate with me. Prove to me from Quran and Sunnah, immediately Dr. Zakir Naik will accept. Debating, Alhamdulillah, Summa, Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed me. In debating, Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed me. My response to Sheikh Nasir Dalbani, I respect him, I am nothing compared to him. I am not even a drop in the ocean compared to Sheikh Nasir Dalbani. So please don't get me wrong. Many of my talks are based on his research, Mashallah. So please don't get me wrong, I love him, I respect him, but no taqlid. I tell him, fine, if you see the lifestyle in the history of the Prophet, he didn't quote any hadith to me, he didn't quote to me any verse of the Quran that call us as Salafi, so I don't call, no logic. At the time of the Prophet, they were hypocrites, munafiks, fine, they were munafiks, the Sahabas did not change the name. They were Kharijis, Khawarij, Kharijites. They called themselves Kharaji. People gave them the label. The Sahabas yet called themselves Muslims. Did the Sahaba say, give them a new name? No. They continued calling themselves Muslim. They were Mutazalites. People yet continued calling themselves Muslims. So at that time also there were differences. Not that they were not. Now, coming to the question, that therefore, Sheikh Nasir al-Bani says you should call, you, call yourself Salafi. My question is, which Salafi? Which Salafi? My counter question. And now, do you know how many have Salafi? Are you a Qutubi? Or Sururi? Or Madkhali? I can name another Salafi. See, I'm not speaking against anyone. Please don't get me wrong. I don't mean ill to any of them. But even in Salafi, there are various groups. And if you go to UK, Masha Allah, Subhanallah, Allah Akbar, there are so many groups in UK, each group fighting against the other, calling the other Salafi a Kafir. Nausbillah. We'll come to that later on if time permits. 
So which Salafi do you belong to? Again, see whatever label you give, there's bound to be Tafarraqa. When the Shias came, people said we are Sunni. Again there was group, Ahle Sunnah wal Jamaat. Then, again there was division, Hanafi, Shafi, Hamli, Malaki, then we came with Salafi, Ahle Hadith. There's group even in this. The moment the name, the name given by human beings, there's bound to be Tafarraqu. Even in Allah's name, Muslims, they're bound to be division. Allah told that. But don't think the name you give will not have divisions. Don't you think Allah did not know? Allah knew there are going to be divisions in the Muslim Ummah. He told in the Quran, the Prophet predicted, yet the Prophet didn't say, call yourself Ahle Hadith, call yourself Salafi. Ahle Hadith. Which Ahle Hadith? In, in Bombay, where I come from, there are two Ahle Hadith. Jamiyat Ahle Hadith and Gurba Ahle Hadith. So which Ahle Hadith do I belong to now? One Ahle Hadith blaming the other Ahle Hadith. See, I don't want to mean any harm to the Ahle Hadith. Therefore, I said the topic is sensitive. Wallah, I'm only trying to talk about Quran and Allah's Rasul. Please don't feel bad. I respect Nasruddin al-Mashaykh, Nasruddin al-Mani. I respect the Salafis. I look amongst all these groups that are there. We have to agree. The Ahle Hadith and the Salafis are the closest to the Quran and Sunnah. I'm proud to say that. But, but, which Salafi? So maybe during the early times of Sheikh Nasir Dalmani, there weren't groups in the Salafi, now there are groups. Sururi, Madkhali, Putubi. Oh, he's not right, he's not right, he's calling him Salafi. But he's, so now we have new books, true Salafi, true Salafi. I read a book on Salafi Dawa, true Salafi, true Salafi. What is this true Salafi? I say, you know, we had a Dawa training program in Bombay where we invited people from different parts of the world. There were 14 people, there were 19 people from 14 different countries. And many of them were from Madina University, mashallah, from Bahrain University, all more than 50% were Salafi, mashallah. So we had a discussion there. So then I asked the question. Salafi shortcut, short name. Instead of saying, I believe in Quran and Hadith according to way of Salafi Salih, shortcut Salafi. So I asked him, the Salafi Salihin is better or Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is superior? Who's better? So they told me, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So why not call yourself Muhammadi? Right or wrong? In India, who calls themselves Muhammadi? You know? Do you know? Do we agree with them? No. Who calls themselves Muhammadi in India? Who is superior? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah. Allah. So one who submits evil to Allah is called a Muslim. We know there are divisions in Muslim, but whatever name you give, there are going to be division. In the Hanafi Maslak, there were four students. In Shafi Maslak, there's Kadim and Jadid. In the Ahle Hadith, I went to Kashmir, there are many groups of Ahle Hadith. I went to Kerala, Mujahideen. Mujahideen. KNM, Kerala Nadwatul Mujahideen. There, people don't call themselves Ahle Hadith. Mujahideen. If you go to Saudi Arabia and say, I'm Ahle Hadith, what is this new Ahle Hadith? Very few people of the Saudis know who's an Ali Hadith. For them, they know Salafi. But Salafi and Ali Hadith belong to the same group, the names are different. In some country, Ansari. Fine. So, when he's saying call herself Salafi, that means the Ali Hadith of India, they aren't Salafis. Fine. So, here we realize that if you want to give a label, Instead of Salafi, Muhammad is better. Instead of Muhammad is Muslim. Therefore, I say, Atullah, Atullah. Therefore, I, for label, I prefer calling myself Muslim. That's it. First a Muslim, last a Muslim. I am not hurting any of my Muslim brothers, whether it's a Hanafi or a Shafi or a Hanbali or a Maliki or a Ahli Hadith or a Salafi. Believe me, I love all. I love all my Muslim brothers. I am not here to hurt anyone's feeling. Therefore, I said, Ta'ala vila kalmitin sawa im bainana bainakum. Come to come in terms as with us and you. I am coming to come in terms. I respect Abu Hanifa Imam.